go ahead and see where we are right now so we are here so we have done this much right and a worker node 2 the steps are pretty much the same as they were here uh, uh, your uh, step number 23 and 24 which will ask you to create a uh, work node uh, name it as get is uh, node uh, adm2 uh, install docker on it install kubectl cube admin and uh, kubelet on it right now since these are repetitive steps and probably somewhere later in uh, you know later uh, at a later stage i'll create a you know some kind of automation script uh, for it what i did is i actually did it already so if you go to uh, the setup here that we were using last time you can see that i've already added a k8 is uh, k8s node admin 2 into the mix so i can nicely remove this from here uh, so that you can see what's going on here All right we have three uh, pods which are currently deployed okay now we'll see one more thing here right what we'll do is we'll say we'll change our watch a little bit so we'll say we'll just come out of it and we'll say watch kubectl get deployment we'll get some more information about the pod in the previous watch we are doing all namespaces here we are doing o wide which will tell you a lot of other things like uh, the machine on which your uh, you know your pod is deployed it won't show you the uh, the pods with respect to the Kubernetes component but that's fine you know we already know that you know what what happens there uh, you know how they get installed and even the flannel as well we don't need to see that anymore so what we'll do now is we'll do something exciting okay we've done all this joining and everything so uh, you know these are all just going to be steps which are uh, similar to the steps that we, we've done for worker node one in case you have any issues with respect to um, uh, with respect to uh, creating a worker node uh, or getting the you know join token you can run the command again this command again on the master and you'll get the 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 join command here in case this has become stale for you sometimes what happens is this token becomes stale it will say your worker will say it is not connected so you can use this you can you can use this command to create this token again step number 40 right okay uh, so i have started this so i can now i think easily say that i have we are done up till here actually till here yeah uh, and uh, all right so what we'll do is we'll scale up now we'll say want to scale up to um, nine replicas all right so keep a watch here there are nine there are three replicas here we want to scale up to nine all these three replicas are on uh, node admin one just keep a note on uh, the ip addresses it ends with four three four four and four two right now go ahead and create the deployment make sure that your deployment name is correct which was not in my case yeah go ahead and create the deployment now you'll see that the moment you'll do it uh, the deployments will get upscaled right and observe uh, something else here the extra pods which are coming right just see where they are they are not in this in the scheme IP scheme of four. They are in this IP scheme of five now. At least four of them, right? On node admin two, which also tells you that the way network admin uh, add-on provider has been configured is in such a way that if pods have to go to different nodes, they are going to start with a different IP scheme, right? For admin one, it is four from starting from point four, point two, dot four, dot two, and so on. For admin 2, it will be dot 5, dot 2, and so on. If you add another node, it will be dot 6, dot 2, and so on. Right. So that's what it is. Um, that's what I wanted to show in this uh, video. If you go ahead and say that I want to downscale it to, let's say, what, uh, uh, you know, 3 now. The moment you say that, uh, you know, your uh, uh, pods will start getting ter terminated pretty randomly, I would say. Not necessarily that it's going to go to uh, you know the machine 
machine one worker node one or two it will go to just any uh, machine and see over here it has uh, deleted uh, all the six pods deployed and one pod deployed on six pod deployed on machine uh, worker node one and uh, one on machine machine two right so you have two pods running so it's pretty random um, and, and it's good for you know load balancing as well so that my friends uh, should end this video and also uh, uh, you know brings an end to uh, this complete series uh, hopefully you enjoyed uh, making the developing the cluster both in the manual and manual fashion as well as with qubit adm i will be um, uploading another series uh, on uh, doing the same uh, with cube admin admin on virtual box on your local machine uh, so uh, very soon i will start uploading the series for that a separate playlist probably till then have a great time stay safe and i'll see you soon thank you so much